Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I make a delicious flappy beef stew. I also have a tip for you at the end, so watch to the very end. So these are the ingredients that you need. I have them listed in the description box. And with the beef, please make sure you have something with bonds and fat. So I start by cutting tomatoes, onions, I also cut the meat. And then I also crush the garlic and also grate the ginger. It's just good to have everything ready so that you don't waste time when you need to start cooking. Yeah, I'm just blending the tomatoes and onions and then let's run out cook them separately and then add them to the beef stew so this is really crucial step this is actually what makes the beef stew fluffy so you add some oil to a pot and then you add the blended onion and tomato mixture and let it boil until all the water is gone you also see that the color will change when it's ready and then in the meantime, you start with the meat, just adding my onions, and then I'll add the garlic. I prefer to grate the garlic directly like that. Of course, you can... Um, grate it separately and add it but this is just easier for me and um yeah so the garlic is really important it adds this this flavor and honestly i learned about adding garlic to meat from my Ghanaian family my Ghanaian church family i never added garlic before but garlic it gives some spice And so now I'm going to add the actual spices. This is chicken spice, <laughs> but it tastes good. So I use chicken spice for my beef stew. That is a trick of mine. And then I also have some beef bouillon, which I'm adding. And then if I have my ghee, I also add some my ghee to it. And of course, you had some salt if you want to. And other, yeah, just other flavors that you normally use. I normally don't add any water to my beef stew but sometimes it's important just to have some more flavor some more bouillon flavor for your sauce later and now you can see that the tomato and onion blended mixture is cooking and boiling the color has also changed and when it's ready you really see that the water is gone in the meantime the beef stew has cooked it's ready guys it's yummy even just like this <laughs> but of course you need the fluffiness and the sauce this is so important that you see that you have enough of the base bouillon and then the tomatoes are now ready i could wait for them of course to be completely without water but i decided it's late <laughs> i was cooking this in the evening and i was like no it's it's good enough and then i also added some tomato paste just to thicken it up a bit and then i added that to the beef So after adding the tomato mixture then I stir it for a bit and cook it for a bit longer and I also just add a can or a carton of tomato passata to thicken up the sauce. It's good to cook this the day before because the next day the fluffiness and the yumminess and the deliciousness and the flavorness <laughs> will just be 
really really good it's worth cooking it the night before if you can and setting it out for the next day so this is the end result thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video i also like to know how do you cook your beef stew do you take this much effort as i do do you want to try this out if you do please comment below and i look forward to seeing your comments